Greetings everyone, this is Curtis Duncan, aka Dr. C, checking in with you. And I just wanted to make a very important video uh, that I would ask definitely that you uh, please share with your friends and family. Um, it is, you know, I just heard in the news recently that a lot of people who are dying from the swine flu are actually healthy and young. And, I, and this, this perfectly makes sense based upon the research I've done in that understanding that the, the virus that we have now, the swine flu virus, is very similar to the virus they had during the 1918 flu, which killed millions of people. And it was noted that during the 1918 flu, most of the people that died were actually healthy young men, or, or were healthy. They were younger. They weren't elderly. They weren't babies. And this, you know, totally baffled the scientific community. But what they found is, is that all these individuals, um, they have massive inflammation within their body. The people that died, they died uh, from the buildup of fluid in their lungs. And that's exactly what the swine flu virus does. For people who are healthy, they have a stronger immune system. And when they are exposed to a pathogen, their immune system responds to it uh, very, very swiftly. And I, I know a lot of people, are, you know, they always want to boost their immune system, boost their immune system. But, you know, it has been shown that the people who died, actually, during the 1918 flu, died of overactive immune system. Because what happened is that the immune system re responded too strong. And it caused what is known as a, 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 cyto a cytokine storm, or basically massive inflammation within their body, which thereby destroyed their lungs and caused hemorrhaging in their lung tissue. It has been shown that from autopsies, autopsies, the people who died during, during, during the 1918 flu had this condition. Most of them um, died from this massive inflammation that occurred in their lung tissues as a result of the cytokine storm. And that's what actually killed the people. So the overactive immune system is what killed the people. And I tell people that you don't want to have overactive immune system because overactive immune system can kill you as it did in the case of the 1918 flu. Uh, when the immune system uh, responded uh, too strong, uh, too, you know, too swiftly to this particular uh, virus or pathogen. You want to have a healthy immune system. And uh, having a healthy immune system means having a vitamin D sufficiency. Vitamin D actually prevents uh, this inflammation from taking place. And just like uh, during the 1918 flu, most of the people who are dying from the swine flu are younger. You know, they're in the age range from 15 to from 15 to 50, and uh, they're dying as a result uh, as a result of the inflammation that occurs within their lungs. Um, you know, it's the same process because the people who are dying from the swine flu, they did not die. Um, they're not elderly and they're they not young. So the reason why young people died in 1918 flu was because of inflammation, and it's been shown that swine flu does the same thing. It causes the same uh, inflammatory, highly dangerous inflammatory response by the immune system which causes which basically destroys your lungs um, it causes a person to choke on their own uh, fluids you know they just they just die so what vitamin D does is that it stimulates a part of the immune system that's been used by over 60 million years and it prevents the the massive inflammation from occurring so vitamin D down regulates the immune system so it won't go haywire and cause inflammation and cause you know basically the destruction of your lung tissue your lung tissues which causes you to die that's why I highly recommend vitamin D uh, it is so important uh, and it's really sad that most people who are dying from you know uh, a vitamin D deficiency in this country uh, during this swine flu season that we are experiencing and it's even sadder that the government uh, won't recommend this but you know it is what it is uh, you know um, that's why I guess people like me are here but nonetheless, if you're interested in, you know, decreasing your risk of having any complications from the swine flu, it's not about fear, it's about awareness. You know, there's, only, there's a very small risk uh, of people suffering complications. But, um, you know, it is, it is best for you to have, you to take a high quality vitamin D supplement, you know, to just decrease your risk of suffering any complications and to prevent the cold and flu. Uh, during this upcoming winter season because most people get the cold and flu because they're deficient in vitamin D, plain and simple. So that's one of the best things you could do, particularly if you are healthy, if you're my age. I'm 26, so you know I'll be a person who might, um, you know, might suffer uh, greater complications than people who are actually uh, elderly and who are younger and his, whose immune systems aren't as strong or, 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 not, 
or or are not as developed. So uh, what you could, I would highly recommend that every everyone and anyone get my special report on how to get vitamin D. I tell you exactly the type of uh, high doses to take uh, to uh, prevent any type of uh, complications from the flu, any inflammation that might occur, and to get you up, you know, and to get your vitamin D up, so your vitamin D levels up very fast. So you won't have to worry about. Any type of um, you know any type of complications from the swine flu, and you won't even get the cold or flu period because vitamin D has been shown to totally prevent that. So I recommend that you get that uh, special report. It's uh, available at a great price, and the information in there could definitely save your life because vitamin D has also been shown to be uh, the most effective uh, substance out there when it comes to preventing cancer. So it's very important, y'all. You know, it's you know it's just one of those things that it's not being talked about, but you know, it is something that could save millions of lives around the world. So, but don't expect to hear about it on the news because that's not their interest. They're interested in pushing vaccines and drugs. So, thanks again. Uh, spread the information with your friends and have a wonderful day, y'all. Peace.